Grammar Two for Level Two Students, Chapter Thirteen: Gerund and Infinitives. Using gerund as subject, using it plus infinitive. A gerund is used as the subject of a sentence. Both the gerund as the subject and it plus infinitive give the same meaning. See the examples. Walking is important for good health. In this sentence, the ing form of the verb walk is walking, and here it acts like the subject. See the second example. It is important to walk for good health. The sentence begins with it, and there is infinitive here to walk. In this sentence, it is important to walk for good health, and walking is important for good health. Both of them are giving the same meaning. The first one is using gerund as the subject, and the second one is using infinitive. See another pair of examples. Smoking is injurious to health. In this sentence, the verb smoke is with ing smoking, and it is the subject for this sentence. And subject is the noun. This is the noun form of the verb, and it is the gerund. The other sentence, it is injurious to smoke for health. In this sentence, we find this two plus simple form of the verb. It is an infinitive, and both the sentences are giving the same meaning. Smoking is injurious to health, and it is injurious to smoke for health. One of them is using gerund, another is using it plus infinitive. They are giving the same meaning. Express purpose using in order to and for. In order to express purpose, we study hard in order to pass. The purpose of studying hard is to pass. I went to post office to buy some stamps. The purpose of my going to post office is to buy some stamps. For also expresses purpose, but it is a preposition and it is followed by a noun phrase. See the examples. We study hard for good marks. This is a preposition, and after that there is a noun phrase, good marks. I went to post office for some stamps. For is the preposition, and it is followed by the noun phrase, some stamps. Using infinitives with to and enough. Infinitives with to. Infinitives often follow expressions with to. It implies a negative result. This question is too difficult to answer. It means we couldn't answer this question because it was very difficult. This question is too difficult for me to answer. I couldn't answer this question because it is very difficult for me. Infinitives with enough. Infinitives often follow expressions with enough. He is old enough to go to school. They were strong enough to carry the bags. This infinitive follows the expression with enough.